So let's see what the overall energy is. Look at that. Gathering around the power of community. All right. Interesting. I like it. It's, I've noticed everybody's super friendly when I walk now. Like nobody in my neighborhood talked to me as much before COVID as they do since COVID. Dream thief, refusal of the call. And we have fortune's wheel, luck and right timing. Okay, so that is the overall energy. I do like the cards to flip, so if it takes a moment, there we go, there we go. Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner, Capricorn. And then right after winning something big, you, you pack your bags and leave. All right, oh, well, you know, it's a chapter. 10 of Wands is you worked hard. It looks as though you recently got a promotion or some acclaim for an accomplishment. And it looks like many of you may have gotten a bonus you may have also been offered a new opportunity to make more money. Beautiful. Love and money go hand in hand. They're both ruled um, by what you value in the second house. And we're in the time of Taurus. We have the Fool card, a new beginning once again. Letting go of some uh, things that have made you weary. You know, it looks like you're in the process of packing up and getting ready to do something for the new start. I like the equal give and take. Six of Pentacles energy is great energy. Ace of Cups, somebody's in love with you. This is what is hidden in the heart space of the person you came to ask about. Look at that Ace of Cups, they want a new beginning. All right, so Judgment card. Okay, so for some of you, I feel as though when I see the Judgment card, I think of Judgment of Divorce. A decision has been made, something has been released. Your person felt that it was necessary so that you could have equal give and take. So it does look like um, the two of you have been feeling like you could have something important, something of uh, magnitude. Okay, so wheel, wheel of Fortune is turning. Destiny's wheel wants you. Five of Coins. What on earth is going on here? We have the five of coins, which means that the hidden energy is that the two of you are not talking. The five of coins. And it also indicates that when we see the five of coins, there's a big key right here. The person's locked out of the door or so they think, but it's not really accurate because here's a key, here's a lock, and the person's looking down. But that is mutual energy between you and a lover. Capricorn, what is going on? Okay. So, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth looks as though it has been told. And it looks as though someone is invested. Both of you are invested. That's your outcome card for the reading. It's Virgo energy. So, it does look as though one or both of you are packing up and moving into the future after a very burdensome time, but a big win. So there was a win in love here. Why do we have the Six of Wands, Leo energy? We have the Page of Wands throwing caution to the winds. So there's some victory that both of you have decided upon and it requires that you leave or release other burdens or other responsibilities in your life. So it does look like it's mutual energy. This gathering around, creating a new community. All right, so why is the six, of the six of Coins is here? I'm gonna move these over. Clarifying the Six of Coins is a Five of Wands. This is not gonna happen easily. It looks as though there are competitors, there are people that are unhappy. It looks like there's a lot of fighting going on, at least for your partner, if not for you. Why do they see, why does your partner see you as this beautiful Aquarius fool? Young, delighted, happy. Ah, uh, look at this. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. They see you as a person who is starting out on a new adventure after taking your time to think about things. You haven't fully made a commitment to this because it does look like somehow in all of this process you got wounded. 
your person sees you as wounded, needing some time to heal. But the Two of Wands is reversed, so the decision has already been made. The Ace of Wands tell us that the decision has been made, but your person really wonders how serious you are. Capricorn, your person is curious about what's going on with you. They don't really see a clear shot here with you. They feel as though you've withdrawn from them. They feel as though you want the passion with them, but they're not sure. They want happily ever after with you. They want the Ten of Cups. They certainly want the Sun card, you know, the happiest card in the deck. So they're totally happy with you. They do not think that you are happy with them. We have the Judgment card, so we have the, the Emperor. So whoever this masculine Emperor energy is, it does look as though they're going to let go of their relationship. I don't feel like the two of you are married at all. I just don't. You could be, but I don't see it that way. But it does look like your person's willing to release a traditional marriage or relationship so that they can make a move towards you. Happily ever after Ace of Cups Sun card. The cards don't even get better than that. Why are you upset? Capricorn, why does your person think that you're upset? Well, you're defensive. Ooh, you've told them that you want a new beginning and you want clarity. So we have that moon is reversed. So what I'm seeing here, Capricorn, is you're just saying that it has to be done the right way. King of Pentacles energy says that the two of you are going to make plans. It looks like the two of you are very loyal. You're very passionate with each other. You do want the happily ever after. That is a mutual energy, Taurus energy. It's kind of possessive energy, to tell you the truth. If you've ever known a Taurus, they, they make a claim in love. Um, the the um, card of the chariot card is here, moving rapidly with truth. Truth be told, you are not going anywhere. You are not going to leave this new person. So it does look as though one of you or both of you are in relationships that they have to leave. I would say one more than the other. Yeah, no third party situations. Good for you. Good for you, Capricorn. You're just not, you're not doing it. You know, what I'm seeing here is that if you don't walk away, I'm not going to be put in a third party. I want something to invest in. Your person is willing to close out the old cycle. You know, they really are. The burdens of the past, the judgment card is Scorpio energy. And, you know, you're willing that your person's willing to pack up their bags. Judgment, judgment. Again, could be the judgment of divorce in the U.S. I don't know what they call it in other places, but, you know, take it as it resonates. So the energy here is that the two of you are trying to make a life together. Right now, you don't know what you don't know. Let's see what your person is feeling. The Hermit card, you may be dealing with a Virgo. You have a couple of Virgo cards here. A lot of passion, though. A lot of communication coming in in the near future. Why do we have the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords reversed? We like those reversals because... You both want to hold on to each other. Again, very, very possessive energy. Energy that says the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is, I want to make a home with you. And right now we're not in that situation. So that is really fascinating. Let's look and see in your heart space, and their heart space, how your person feels about you just in their heart space. That's all we're looking for right now. Spirit, just give us some energy of what... Capricorn's person is looking oh Queen of Pentacles the Capricorn Queen oh beautiful wheel of fortune oh my gosh destiny this is your time destiny is begging for you to open the door here destiny is is crying out that the timing is right Capricorn let's see what else we have let's see page of cups six of cups you've known each other a while Page of Cups, or could be children, could be your children, could be their children, but we're getting the Page of Cups and the Six of Cups. This is soulmate energy from the past. You may have known each other for a very long time. Mm, interesting energy. Okay, we're going to pull one more card. They're in love. They are smitten. They see you as their perfect person. They see you as their match. 
What else do we have? Judgment, Four of Cups. They are leaving another situation. Judgment card three times has appeared. And what we see is that this person is unhappy without you. So it looks like someone is probably leaving a third party situation for you, Capricorn, and you're going to get clarity and move forward.